Welcome to Global World Watch. Please subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. It all began with a simple yet profound idea. What if we could send a messenger into the great cosmic ocean? In 1977, humanity launched Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, our robotic pioneers. Their mission was bold to explore Jupiter and Saturn and then journey beyond the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1 was built to survive the harshness of space, carrying instruments to see, measure and listen. It was humanity's eyes and ears sent on a one-way trip into the unknown. The engineers behind Voyager knew it would outlast them, traveling for decades, maybe centuries. On September 5, 1977, a Titan rocket launched Voyager 1 from Cape Canaveral. As it climbed skyward, it carried not just technology, but a piece of all of us, a symbol of our curiosity. Voyager 1 was a promise to seek answers about what lies beyond Pluto and what the space between the stars is really like. It was a gamble, a hopeful shot in the dark, aimed at the heart of the Milky Way. The journey had begun, a journey that would redefine our place in the universe. Voyager 1 would show us that the cosmos is far stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. It was more than a machine, it was a message cast out into the cosmos. Our hopes, our questions, and a greeting for anyone who might find it travelled with Voyager. The mission was for the ages. And so, humanity's greatest journey began. Voyager 1's path was a masterpiece of celestial mechanics, a cosmic game of billiards. Using gravity assists, it slingshotted from planet to planet, gaining speed and saving fuel. Its first stop. Jupiter, 1979. Voyager revealed swirling storms, faint rings and volcanic moons. Io spewed sulphur, Europa hinted at a hidden ocean. These discoveries transformed our view of the solar system. Next, Saturn. Voyager showed us intricate rings and Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. After Saturn, Voyager 1's trajectory changed forever. It was flung out of the plane of the planets, heading for the edge of the solar system. Its tour of the planets was over, but its true journey was just beginning. Voyager 1 was now on a one-way course towards the stars. The known was behind it. The great unknown lay ahead. It was the first to venture so far. As Voyager 1 travelled farther from the Sun, it entered the outer edge of our solar system, a region dominated by the Sun's influence. The solar wind creates a protective bubble called the heliosphere. Outside this bubble is interstellar space, the space between the stars. Voyager's next mission, find the edge of this bubble, the heliopause. For years, it flew through the turbulent Helios Heath, measuring particles and magnetic fields. Scientists watched for a drop in solar particles and a surge in cosmic rays. In August 2012, more than 11 billion miles from the Sun, the data changed. Solar particles dropped. Cosmic rays surged. Voyager 1 had crossed the heliopause. It had left the solar system and entered interstellar space. A human-made object was now swimming in the cosmic ocean between the stars. Crossing into interstellar space, Voyager 1 found a realm more dynamic than expected. The space between stars wasn't empty. It was alive with energy and surprises. Voyager measured the density of interstellar plasma by listening to plasma waves. Shock waves from the Sun made the plasma ring, revealing a denser environment than predicted. This changed our understanding of how our solar system interacts with the galaxy. 
The boundary wasn't smooth, but a complex, dynamic interface. Voyager found the density of the interstellar medium changes, showing it's a cloudy, non-uniform region. These are the first direct measurements of the environment our solar system travels through. Voyager 1 is our scout, giving us a taste of the galactic weather. It's mapping the unknown. One of Voyager 1's most poetic discoveries is the interstellar hum, a faint, persistent vibration in the plasma. Even without solar shockwaves, Voyager's instruments picked up this constant signal. It's not a sound for human ears, but a steady baseline for measuring interstellar space. This hum allows scientists to map the environment continuously, not just during solar events. Its source is still a mystery, perhaps thermal fluctuations or distant cosmic events. The hum reveals that space isn't silent. It's filled with energy and subtle vibrations. Voyager 1 is the first to detect this cosmic song. The universe is never truly silent. You just have to know how to listen. Science thrives on surprises, and Voyager 1 has delivered plenty. One shock, scientists expected the magnetic field direction to change at the heliopause, but it didn't. The sun's influence seemed to persist, suggesting a porous, magnetically connected boundary. This has big implications for how cosmic rays enter our solar system. Voyager also found that cosmic rays behave differently than models predicted. The boundary region affects their flow in unexpected ways. Understanding this is vital for future human space exploration. Voyager's data is rewriting the textbooks. Like explorers before, Voyager 1 is mapping the unknown for those who follow. Its data is a practical guide for future interstellar probes. Every measurement helps engineers design spacecraft to survive the journey between stars. Discoveries about plasma density and radiation shape mission planning. Voyager's longevity teaches us how to build machines that last. With Voyager 2, we're building a three-dimensional map of the heliosphere's edge. This knowledge helps us understand our protective bubble and how it might change as we travel through the galaxy. Voyager 1 is not just exploring, it's preparing us for the future. Voyager 1 is more than a spacecraft. It's a symbol of our curiosity and ingenuity. Built by human hands, it's now farther from Earth than anything else we've made. It survived radiation, freezing temperatures, and the unknowns of interstellar space. Its 1970s era computers and tiny radio still work, sending signals across billions of miles. Voyager's journey is a story of resilience and teamwork. It connects us to the cosmos, making the universe feel a little less empty. We are not just observers, we are explorers. Voyager 1 is our silent ambassador, traveling as a peaceful explorer. It carries no weapons, only knowledge and a message of greeting. Its journey is part of our search for answers. It is a beacon of hope, continuing its epic voyage into the endless night. Knowing Voyager 1 would drift for billions of years, its creators attached a message, the golden record. This gold-plated disc contains sounds and images of Earth, our greeting to the cosmos. It's a snapshot of life, images, music, greetings in 55 languages, and the sounds of our planet. The record carries Bach, Beethoven, Chuck Berry, and music from around the world. Carl Sagan called it a celebration of our existence. A cosmic handshake. Voyager and its golden record may outlast everything we've built on Earth. It may never be found, but sending it was an act of hope. It's the story of humanity, entrusted to the stars. 
This is our legacy. Voyager 1's journey is our message in a bottle, cast into the vast ocean of the cosmos.